this party started. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paramount Plus. As if we needed another thing to subscribe to. Uh, we've already got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max. I could go on. Now we've got Paramount Plus. It's a new streaming service with everything from movies, news, to cartoons, to a lot more. And, you know, streaming movies and TV shows is something we've done plenty of this past year, especially with the movie theaters being closed for a while there at the beginning. But is there something about a movie theater experience that can't be replaced even by streaming and the Internet? That's what I asked Connor Farrell. He's our Wake Up Weekend's digital producer, but before that he worked at a movie theater in New Albany for five years. So he was the perfect person to talk to for this week's Teammate Convo. What were some of the big movie premieres that you worked through that you remember? I did a lot of superhero movies. Man of Steel. He was convinced that the world wasn't ready. Iron Man, Avengers, Thor, you know, all that jazz. But I think the craziest weekend I ever had was during Frozen. Let it go, let it go. There was not an open seat in the house and there was like, that theater held close to like 400 people. You know, it's funny, I probably saw less movies as I worked in a movie theater. You know, it's kind of like one of those situations where if you work at a fast food restaurant, you don't eat there anymore or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it was, and it was kind of the same situation with movie popcorn. You know, that's the thing that everybody associates a the theater with. It's a popcorn. I, I can't eat it anymore. I, I smelled it for, you know, five years. And so uh, that might be one reason that you miss the theaters less than a lot of people, because, you know, now all these movie production companies are starting their streaming services to launch it at home. But I've seen a lot of people online saying, well, it's not the same without the movie theater popcorn. But I guess for you, that's not a problem. <laughs> well, I, you know, there's, there's the appeal for some people. It's not, and, and I can totally see it. I, I love popcorn, just not movie popcorn. I can't do it. Fair enough. Okay, so what is your opinion then of all of these streaming services launching how do you think it either adds or subtracts from the movie theater experience you know i think it's two things one for me personally i rather have options while i'm at home you know i can surf through multiple streaming channels and find the perfect movie to watch and uh it's a lot cheaper that's for one um but at the same time i think there's there will always be a place for movie theaters uh you can't replace the experience you know, there's just something about watching a new release on a big screen. A lot of people in the theater, you know, even if it's not for me, the movie popcorn, the candy, the drinks. I mean, it's it's an experience. So you think that once the pandemic is over and even if these options for customers are here to stay, you think that there'll still be a reason for people to go see a movie in the theaters, at least sometimes? I hope there is. I think it's just like a shared experience, you know. If it's a scary movie, there's you can feel the anxiety in the air. If it's a you know a Rocky movie, you know everybody's rooting for Rocky. Like it's it's just it's in the air. It's palpable, you know, and it's you can't get that on your couch. If there's 300 other people in the movie theater feeling the same experience or emotions that you are, you can kind of get that on social media, but it doesn't replace the the in person feeling of that.